for this. Oh, wow. morning it is monday morning bright and early I'm trying to get this workout in get it out of the way i stepped on the scale this morning again the scale has not moved i've been doing the intermittent fasting for about a week now along with daily workouts i've been working out daily for like the past six weeks the challenge i was on has ended and that was more focused on weights Again, with the scale not moving, someone suggested to shift the focus to cardio. So I think that's what I'm going to do, at least for this week. Not that I'm not going to do any weights, but my exercise is going to be more focused on cardio running, um, trying to break a sweat, not even necessarily walking, but running. I'm just trying to figure out the right combination to make the scale move. And here's the thing. I do recognize that losing weight is a simple equation calories in calories out calories out needs to be more than calories in i have used the my fitness pal to track every single calorie every single piece of ketchup tablespoon of ketchup everything i did that for about a good three months still no movement that was actually another reason why i got the um the tracker because when i was doing the my fitness pal I wanted to be able to accurately measure what my calories out, like how much calories I'm, I'm calories I'm burning, not estimating based on, oh, I think it's this much, because I wanted to get an accurate reflection of what I'm eating versus what I'm burning. I'm gonna definitely keep going though, because giving up is not an option. I did quit my fitness pal because it was very frustrating tracking every single thing and not seeing any results. I mean, if nothing else, exercising does make me feel better, helps me take on the day better. It's good for my mental health and I just have never heard anything bad about extra bad about exercise. So, I think that that's, you know, quitting that is not the the right approach. I think I just need to find the right combination for what for the results I'm looking for. But if nothing else, I feel great mentally and physically. So, Okay, I'm done. I was shooting for 30 minutes. Um, got 31 minutes, 2.57 miles. The next time I do this, I'm definitely gonna shoot for three miles, no matter how long it takes. So, But here's the damage that you see sweat all over everything. I actually have wipes to wipe everything down because I tend to sweat like this when I'm doing, doing cardio. Finished my workout and I have a full day today of work and meetings. I'm really hungry. I was watching this <clears throat> video and this girl was talking about, you know, not intermittent fasting, but she was talking about alternate day fasting, which I had never heard of. But she said she lost 60 pounds doing alternate day fasting where you're, forget skipping a meal, you're skipping a whole day of eating. So you do a day of eating, a day of not eating and alternate along with the working out, that probably would really work. I just would be really, really hungry. But I like the idea of that because I'm like an all or nothing person as well. So I like the idea. I just don't know if the execution would work, especially right after a workout. I tend to get hungry, but I can busy myself with work until lunchtime and then, you know, and then eat. So, but today I've got a few things going on. I need to go pick up some stocking stuffers for my first grader. His teacher is putting together these stockings for all the kids. Well, she put them together already. It's every day she's putting in a different treat up until like the 17th of the month. I guess so they can see their stockings hanging there and then at their Christmas party, they'll get to take them home. So I need to pick up some stocking stuffers. Nothing expensive. I'm just going to the dollar store because, um, I'm not trying to splurge when they're gonna get something from every, pretty much every person in the class. Does anyone have vacation plans for the holidays? I was trying to book a trip to Cancun. If you watched that budgeting video, I was telling you how I budgeted for it and everything because my birthday falls in January, the beginning of January, and I've never like cel really celebrated taking a trip or anything. I'm turning 40 this coming year, and so I had made plans to go to Cancun. We even bought the plane tickets to go 
and I get a call that apparently our confirmation has not been confirmed. I, you know, I don't check my, e I do check my email, but I tend to get a lot of junk. And they said they had been trying to email me that they need my signature before going through with the confirmation. Unfortunately, I did not see that. And when I finally did see it, it was too late. So I don't know what we're gonna do now because if you're traveling for the holidays, you're most likely have your plans already in place and you've got your hotel, or if you're doing a vacation, you've got your vacation. Now there are alternatives. It's just that they're gonna be a lot more expensive at this point in time. The benefit of booking it, you know, a month or two in advance is you get the rates that, you know, that are less expensive. So, oh yeah, I need some plans for the holiday break so that I can celebrate my birthday. Now I am doing, I'm going to Las Vegas for work in the second week of January, but it's just not the same. I don't wanna, it's more so after my birthday and then trying to celebrate it at the same time that I'm trying to do a work, this is just not what I'm trying to do. I want my own like separate birthday trip, but uh, I'm kind of annoyed at myself for not, for missing that email. So I told my husband, I'll just CC him on everything. Like if I'm making plans, I just need to CC him and tell them to contact him as well. Cause he actually does check his emails <laughs> very regularly. I've got 11,213 emails in my work email. And Yahoo stops counting after 999. So that's how bad it is. So yeah, I've got to get my email life together. I, I do tend to mass delete. So I'll sort on if it's junk mail and just like delete all of those or unsubscribe as I think about it. But um, I tend to, I have one particular account where I do check every single email. And then this other one is just like, you know, when you sign up for promotions or when you have to give an email address out, that's the other one. And that's the one that they were sending the notification to that, hey, we need your signature so we can confirm your, confirm your reservation. And when they didn't hear from me, they canceled it. All right, as soon as I get a chance to break away, I'm gonna head to the dollar store and hopefully they have some stuff that I can pick up for the stocking stuffers. She actually sent a list of what she's already received. So I'll have to cross reference what I see with that list to make sure I'm not buying the same thing twice, but we'll see what they have. Anyway, okay, I'm here at the dollar store. <laughs> wow, like everything is gone here. I got gift boxes and bags. Whack a pack balloons. Easy enough. That was may have been the quickest errand run I've ever done. I was nervous that I wouldn't find something that they already didn't have because I'm on the tail end of this. So she's been sending the list every day of everything they have, but I did not see whack a pack balloons. I didn't see whack a pack balloons on the list. So apparently you put this pack down, you smack the pack, and then the balloon inflates before your eyes. That's what it says. And they're Christmas themed. So those will be great. And I'm supposed to hide, I'm supposed to like wrap them up so my first grader doesn't see what it is. And he can be surprised the day of the party. So it's actually the next day and I realized I never demonstrated those whack-a-pack balloons. And I'm about to head to work, but I wanted to see how these work real quick. Huh, so here they are. I'm trying to do this quickly so I can get out of the door. Um, they come in little packs like this. Let's see, it says, oh, smack the pack and watch and wait. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There it is. Oh, wow. Ooh! <laughs> okay, it wasn't that serious. Okay, so this is how they come up. I think it's something cold and it's kind of cool. I think it's an ornament too that you could probably hang on your tree. It's kind of cute for kids, like kids would like it. All right, I gotta go to work. 
Okay, I'm back home for dinner and I'm going to be making, I have leftover some kava yesterday and I'm gonna be making these fire roasted vegetable uh, mix from Costco. These are really good. So I'm gonna make these and then throw them on top of my leftovers from yesterday and that'll be dinner. Dinner was great. It has been a long day, so I am wrapping up the vlog here. I just finished filming a video that I'm gonna post to uh, Vlogmas Day 8 about frequent questions about my sister lock. So if you're looking forward to seeing that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified when that particular video pops up. All right, until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.